Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with me for Saturday's daily Bible study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. Amen. We have a wonderful and powerful lesson, uh, perfectly formed by the potter. Perfectly formed by the potter. Amen. We are perfectly formed by the potter. And as we are chosen, if we stay in his will, we will continue on and be the perfection that he says we can be. Amen. Our lesson is coming from Isaiah 45, verses 8 through 12. Wonderful and powerful lesson. We're going to get ready to move into our lesson. But first, I want to ask if anything is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit. Or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below. And I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would like prayer, please let me know and I will add you to the prayer list. Amen. We're going to get ready and move right into our lesson. But first, we're going to have a prayer. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not in no temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory on thine. Oh God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you for leading us and guiding us in your true path of righteousness. We thank you for showing us the way to go in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are our light and our shining armor, and whom shall we fear in Jesus' name? Heavenly Father, we come to you today to study and meditate on your word, Father, as you said in your word, to study and meditate on your word day and night, Father. And as we come to you, Father, we thank you that you will open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from above. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Our lesson, uh, perfect. Perfectly formed by the potter, Isaiah 45, verses 8 through 12. And the scripture lesson text read, Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation. And let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that strive with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with his potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashion it, what makest thou? Are they, are they thy work? He hath no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, what begettest thou? Or to the woman, what hast thou brought forth? Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his maker, asked me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands, command ye me. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens and all their hosts have I commanded. Amen, amen, amen. Powerful lesson reminding us of who the creator is, who our creator is, amen. The ideal condition of abundant righteousness or justice and salvation or deliverance described here are those that would result on a small scale from Sisera's invitation on behalf of Israel. Their complete fulfillment awaits the millennial kingdom. A woe is pronounced on any who would question Jehovah's right to use a foreigner in redeeming Judea. That is like clay talking back to the potter and accusing him of having no hands, of being powerless. As we see in verse 11, should possibly be read as a question, do you ask me? What I purpose far in the future concerning my sons? Or do you command me concerning the work of my hands? In other words, what might, what right do you have to question me? Amen. The same one who created man and stretched out the heavens 
and the earth raised up Cyrus to liberate his exiles and build his city of Jerusalem, while the rebuilding of the city was actually accomplished later through the decree of Artaxerxes in Nehemiah 2 and 8, it was Cyrus' leadership that first led the groundwork for this project by allowing the Jews to, the, to return from Babylon. His hand is the one that that made it possible. Amen. These are a this is a wonderful and powerful lesson. He is the one that we are to look to. He is the one that we are to lean to. Amen. Because he is our maker. Amen. I pray you meditate on this wonderful lesson and have a great and blessed day. Amen.